Can we talk for a minute? Girl, I want to know your name. Can we talk for a minute? Girl, I want to know your name. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I know y'all say, what is he singing this song? They ain't got nothing to do with this video. I clicked on this video. It ain't say nothing about him singing no Can We Talk, no Tevin Campbell. Listen, that's one of my quarantine jams. You know, I've been in the house. We all know. How y'all doing, YouTube? We all know what's going on. I hope everybody is safe with this whole coronavirus thing. This is the second week that I've been working from home. School is out. The kids are being taught virtually. So the kids are home too. I'm home. I'm working from home. The kids are at home all day. Ain't nobody really going outside. You know, they know uh, the barbershop is closed. Uh, my, look at my hair. This looks crazy, right? Look like I got a wig sitting up here. It's just... But it is what it is, you know, look, I'm not wrinkled, whatever, but I'm, I'm blessed, I'm happy. But anyway, we know with this whole coronavirus, can't go nowhere. So I'm hoping everybody is remaining positive. Uh, hopefully you're not looking at conspiracy theories and things like that, and you're just staying positive and staying safe. And we're going to get through this, y'all. We're going to get through this. Um, so far, I have been, you know, I'm with the kids, so I'm... My kids are small, so we're playing video games. We're playing with toys. I'm watching Disney Plus and Netflix and this, that, and all these other things with them. Of course, helping them with the homeschooling and all of that. And then, of course, you know, my son, he thinks he's Spider-Man, so I have to be the villain or whatever character he's playing. My daughter, she's the princess and this and that, so we have tea time and all that other stuff. So I managed to do all that, chill with the kids, have quality time with them, and get my work done working from home and still manage to watch some shows. I've been watching so much TV. It's weird because it's like you're just trapped in the house. I've been watching so much TV, so many different things. And I guess what I got, y'all? I got BT Plus, but I think as we speak, this might be day seven because you know a brother is not paying for BT Plus. I checked it out. It was all right. It seemed the catalog is not big enough. Uh, hopefully they'll grow this whole streaming service. But as, as of right now, a brother's on that seven day free trial. And I've already, you see what I'm saying? I don't, or I have already told them, uh, yeah, suspend this after the seven, before the seventh day. I said, no, no, no. Because y'all not going to bill me after the seventh day for this thing. But anyway, I watched so many things, and uh, I checked out this show. Well, let me say, before I get into that real quick, I saw this show on Netflix that I really enjoyed called Queen Sono. It's on Netflix. It's about a South African. Uh, she's a spy. Her mother was this uh, activist who was killed. There's a lot of twists and turns in that. It's very short, but it had a cliffhanger. It's very good. I think you guys should check that out. Um, of course, with the kids, I've been watching Lego Masters and the, the Mass Singer and all types of stuff. But back to this BET Plus, I watched this show called Bigger. And I'm telling you guys, you're going to love this show. The show is really good. It's a comedy. It is uh, produced by Will Packer. And it has a great cast. It reminds me sort of of um, Insecure. You know that show with Issa Rae? Because it's about five thirty something year olds. They're living in Atlanta. I believe they are in... Wait, did I take notes? They are living in Little Five Towns. No, oh, see, I'm mixing that up with New York. Hold on. No, Little Five Points. See, Five Towns is in New York. They live, they live in uh, Little Five Points, Atlanta or Georgia, section, whatever. Yeah, Atlanta, Georgia. Look at me rambling. Y'all know how I do. And it's about five friends. They went to college together. Two of them are cousins. And um, they want, their life is a little bit stagnant right now. And they're kind of successful. But they want more out of life. They want things to be bigger. Hence, that's how they got the title, Bigger. So it looks like the main character, I believe her name is Lane. She owns a boutique. 
she's engaged to this really straight lace, clean cut dude. And on paper, he just seems perfect. The perfect gentleman. He's nice. He's cool. They do their little cute little uh, phone calls and they have dinner at the same time, even though they were on the phone and all that. But she expresses that homeboy is kind of bad and bad, bad and bad. And you know, that's like, listen, that right there, I'm telling you, that will crush, that will crush us. I'm telling you, don't tell me I'm bad and bad. Don't, don't. Oh my goodness. I don't, no, let me not go back through something. Don't, don't, it wasn't me. You know, I don't, I don't, <coughs> I don't get that uh, complaint. Yeah, I don't get no complaint, but it's like, you want to crush your brother's ego, you tell them that they not satisfying you in the bed. That's our thing that, you know, you, that macho thing that it's an ego thing. But anyway. He's terrible in bed. He's not exciting, but he's everything else works for her. But she decides to step out on that relationship and try somebody else who's just her little F buddy. And they're just like, <laughs> bang, 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 tearing it up. And it's a really funny show. And so, like, they show that and how she's dealing with that. And her friends are real supportive and they're hilarious. Uh, one of her friends is a... She was a former a reality show star, this character, on something sort of like a, um, what was that show, Basketball Wives type of thing, like a little take on that. Um, and she's trying to get herself together and get her social media account up and all that. There's another friend, he's a, in the corporate world, he's taking care of his mom and he's trying to, you know, rise up the corporate ladder and deal with white America and deal with his white colleagues and, you know, stuff like that. And we find that him and Lane kind of have a backstory where back in college, they almost started to mess with each other, but then they became friends. But that love is still deep down in them. So they, they even start messing around. There's a real estate agent who she's trying to conquer that. There's the DJ who is Lane's cousin. He's a DJ. He's struggling with his whole DJ business because he still has vinyl records, right? And so it's hard for him to get a job because all the other DJs that are getting hired, they're using digital and they're using the... Uh, the uh, USB ports and the laptops, and he can't get a job because he's kind of stuck in his time period where he, you know, he brings his vinyl records and his crates and all that. And even that's kind of funny. And then him and one of the female characters are sneaking around. They're sleeping with each other as well. So it's really well written. It's funny. Um, I watched it all. It's on uh, BET Plus. It's called Bigger. Um, I did hear that it's renewed for a second season, that is great. But here's my pet peeve. I'm hoping that BET wises up and puts this thing on BET Plus. BET Plus. They need to put this on BET, BET, I mean, not on BET Plus, I'm sorry. They need to put this on regular BET. Why is this not on regular BET? Because don't know I have BET Plus. I think this show needs to be seen. More people need to see it. More people need to be watching it. It's really good. I'm telling you, the characters are relatable. The storylines are funny. Um, it's a, the cast, they seem like friends in real life. I like shows like that where I feel like I know them and I'm rooting for them. And I'm just like, Dad, you got this is on BET Plus? Put this on regular BET Line it up with Boomerang or something like that so that more people can see it. Because I don't think, I, I could be wrong, but I don't think too many people have this BET+. Plus. But anyway, it's called Bigger. It's been renewed for a second season. It is a lovely, lovely show. Hilarious show. You need to go check it out. I'm telling you, I think you're going to enjoy this. Um... Let's see, what else have I been watching while I was on BET Plus? Guess what I ran into, folks? But <laughs> I didn't watch it all the way through. And in fact, um, Simply Be Yourself, she uh, wrote me, and it's funny, as she wrote me, I was doing this video. She wrote me in another video. How you doing, Simply? Um, she was telling me about old Ragadushi. Y'all know Ragadushi, the BET 
Uh, the Tyler Perry um, Oval, the show, the Oval, that y'all like me to review. They have a spinoff uh, about the cult, the Ragadushis or Ramagushis, whatever their names are. I peeped in at it simply. So, and what I saw kind of was like, I wasn't feeling it. But I'm coming with a review just for you, just on that, because I got to watch it. Because it started off, and, you know, that first scene, I mean, I did like the theme song, because it got this. But that first scene, simply, it was just like, I, could, I wasn't feeling it. And I was sitting there like, nah, I can't do this. But for you, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to review just <laughs> that episode that I saw. I'm going to finish it off, because I stopped, because I was like, what is this? What are they doing? What What is this? Like that first scene just... But you know, I'm going to save that for another video just for you. I'm going to save the ragged douches just for you. But anyway, like I said, guys, make sure you are going... You go watch Bigger if you can. Try to find it on BET+. Plus. Go do the seven-day trial. Please, just do the seven-day trial. And I'm telling you, I promise you, you are going to really like Bigger. I really liked it. I did. I really, really did. Um, is there anything else while I, um, let's see. Oh, I might as well talk about this while I am here. Uh, I auditioned, guys. Well, this was before the corona shut everything down. I auditioned for this very serious role. They actually reached out to me and asked me to audition for it. And I was kind of shocked because... I didn't, you know, I don't look at myself as a, uh, you know, serious, dramatic actor. <laughs> I feel like I would do better in like lighthearted comedies or a sitcom or stuff like that. But I got to stop doubting myself because it must have been something about me that they wanted me to audition for this role. I auditioned for it. It was a very serious role. It's about a father who's abusive and uh, uh, abusive and uh, homophobic and all this stuff. Total a-hole and you know that ain't me. I'm just a great guy. So, but I thought I did pretty good, but you know, it was last minute when I went to audition for it. I thought I did pretty good, but guys, I don't know because of the next week right after that, Old Corona shut everything down. So I've been working from home, <laughs> been in the house, watching all types of TV. So I don't know, but I was very proud of myself that I stepped out there anyway to do it. So who knows, when all of this blows over, maybe they'll call me and tell me I got the part. Because it was supposed to be for some television show. Oh, you know, so. Oh, one last thing before I go. I was watching Hulu, because I told you I've been watching a whole bunch of television was watching Hulu and I was watching binge watching Law and Order and I found the episode that I was on yes <laughs> I said dag and they play the episode a lot and I think it's season 17 episode 17 I'll double check that I think it is but I saw it on Hulu and I was like yeah look at me I was I played a juror I was looking all serious. I'm going I'm to I'm show you a little clip. In there. I'm going to put it somewhere up here. or something. Y'all going to see just a little. Not the whole thing. I'm just going to put a little still picture. But check it out if you can. If you got Hulu. That was Law and Order. Law and Order SVU actually. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching this. Um, stay tuned. I plan to be back with some more videos. Simply be. I'm going to do that. Ragadushi review just for you <laughs> just for you and everybody thank you for watching and riding with me i appreciate it i've been getting comments and y'all have been riding with the channel I, I'm, I'm appreciating this i like this um that's it for now like i said everybody be safe everybody be blessed and keep it positive and i will see you in the next